حاجة اسمها the receptor potential أنا هبتديها من عند ال receptors عشان تقدروا تتخيلوا أنا بتكلم على إيه بس اللي بيحصل عند ال receptor is the same that will happen in the transmission between any neuron to the other okay so at the receptors uh, for example the pressure receptors in the skin the pressure receptors in the skin those are known as the senior corpuscles okay but these pressure receptors are the ending of a sensory neuron that's the ending of a sensory neuron and it's surrounded by a capsule so this is a capsule and that's the ending of a non-myelinated sensory neuron when we apply pressure to the skin this pressure will start to deform the capsule it presses against the capsule which presses against the ending of this neuron this will deform the plasma membrane and this will result into leakage of sodium ions into this area okay depolarizing this area this depolarization that happens here is known as the receptor potential so depending upon the strength of the neuron the deformation can be just very slight and just very few sodium ions diffuse in so the depolarization might reach maybe negative 60 negative 55 but if the stimulus was strong enough and a lot of sodium ions leaked into the neuron in this area and the depolarization reached negative 50 millivolts it's going to stimulate all the voltage gated sodium channels to open and I will have an influx of sodium ions here which will generate an action potential because when the voltage gated sodium channels open the influx of sodium ion will change the electric potential difference to positive 40 so this is an actual potential this negative 50 millivolts is what we called the thresholds potential so the threshold potential is the minimum value of receptive potential that can initiate an actual potential so for example if this is the strength of the stimulus and the y-axis is measuring the receptive potential this is the negative 50 millivolts which is the threshold okay and the strength of the stimulus is increasing and the receptor potential increases with the strength of the stimulus so up till here up till this point when there is a stimulus the leakage of the sodium ions is not enough to reach negative 50 millivolts it's not enough to reach the threshold so if i'm going to see what's going to happen in the action potential there is no action potential it's not going to generate an action potential so this is nothing yeah the right you can see up to this strength of the stimulus the leakage of sodium ions into the neuron did not reach did not cause the depolarization to reach negative 50 millivolts and into the body this is your neuron and the stimulus is applied so sodium ions are being leaking are leaking inside this is the receptor potential okay but the amount of leakage of sodium ions 
did not make the depolarization reach negative 50. It's less than negative 50. Yani it didn't reach the threshold, which means it's as if nothing happened. This is known as local depolarization. And this area will be repolarized and as if nothing happened, as if there was no stimulus. But if it reached the threshold and above the threshold, this is enough. There's an enough depolarization to open, to open the voltage-gated sodium channels. So there will be an influx, an action potential will be generated. So if the receptive potential reaches the threshold potential, an action potential can be generated. But if it's below the threshold, the action potential will never be generated. You understand this? Well, I have to. I this is the, the average normal. This is the normal. Like in the deviations. عشان كده مش كل واحد the response is different. The data is different. There are differences. Even for pain, there are tolerance. There are people who have high threshold, higher than that, and there are people who have lower thresholds. And there are people who have decreased response to the other thing. And there are people who have a big impact on them. So the threshold is variable between an individual and the other. لكن احنا هنا بنتكلم على الافريج نور كل 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 Enough sodium ions to علشان توصل ال depolarization negative 50. عشان voltage gate تفتح. دلوقتي انت لما بيحصل اي stimulus. Okay. Any stimulus will result بغض النظر بقى ده هيحصل ازاي لان different receptors work differently. يعني انا هنا مثلا في البسينيوم كوربس اللي هو pressure receptors قلت مجرد the pressure will deform the membrane causing a leakage of sodium ions. هنتكلم على taste buds. They work differently. Well, actually, they work differently for salt and they work differently for sugar. The receptors they work differently. فهنا بتكلم على the simplest form of receptor. وبعد كده هتكلم على تانيين. فin this case. Just the pressure on the ending of the sensory neuron deforms the membrane, so some sodium ions starts to leak in. When the sodium ions leak in, it's depolarizing the membrane. Okay? If this depolarization reached negative 50 millivolts, which I call the threshold, voltage-gated sodium channels will open. And there will be an influx of sodium ion generating an action potential. But if this receptor potential, we call it receptor potential because it's the depolarization at the receptors. If this receptor potential did not reach the threshold, it's as if there was no stimulus even. Think about it. Eh? This is the strength of the stimulus. Yani you have a stimulus, but it's as if it's not there. Because the amount of sodium ions that leaked in at the receptors was not enough for the depolarization to reach the threshold. So the receptor potential was below threshold. The area will be repolarized by the action of the sodium potassium pump and that as if nothing happened. Okay? But once it reaches threshold, this depolarization will result in opening of the voltage-gated sodium channels. So there will be an influx of sodium ions and it will start to generate an action potential. But as we recall from last lesson, 
The action potential, the size of the action potential is the same. All action potentials are positive. In your new textbook, it's positive 30 millivolts. Before that, it was, they used to say positive 40 millivolts. I'm sure it's a bacteria. It's a textbook. Although in all the Almar schemes that are applied, it's positive 40 millivolts. But according to the new textbook, it's now positive 30 millivolts. But we have to follow the new textbook. Okay, so all the, the, so the size of the action potential. Okay, if we look at all the exams, we will see that all the exams have the action potential of positive 40 millivolts. But now we are going to say positive 30, simply because the new textbook has two feet positive 30. But I have to follow the new textbook. Okay, so all action potential have the same size, positive 30 millivolts. Because once the electric potential difference reaches positive 30 inside, the voltage gate in sodium channels close and the potassium channels open, repolarization starts to happen. The size of that action potential doesn't change. But what's going to change with the strength of the stimulus? The frequency of the action potential. So for example, in this area where I have a moderate strength for the stimulus, the action potential will be something like that. Okay? The frequency of the action potential. That's the frequency of the action potential. Because if they are generated continuously, what about? The stimulus is strong enough to reach a threshold According to the strength, I have a the action potential being generated. Is that for the neural not then? Yeah. So we. Yes. Like, for in here, the frequency of the action potential at the bottom like this. The strength of the stimulus. Okay. So according to the strength of the stimulus. The frequency of the action potential will increase. And at the let's see the brain, how will the brain interpret the action potential reaching? And the brain of the the action potential. From the action potential, the brain needs to know the strength of the stimulus and what the stimulus is. How does the brain translate this information? The strength of the stimulus be translated by two things. Frequency of the action potential, the more frequent action potential is reaching the brain, this means that the strength of the stimulus is high, and number of neurons stimulated. You have a lot of neurons in this head. If the stimulus is strong, you will have two neurons, three neurons, ten neurons, thousand neurons being stimulated at the same time, the more measure you action potential. The nerve is a bundle of neurons. It's a tissue, it has a lot of neurons inside it. But the stronger the stimulus, the more neurons will have action potentials moving in them. If the stimulus is very, very weak, maybe only one or two neurons will have action potentials moving through them. Okay? So the number of neurons stimulated and the frequency of the action potential. This is how the brain will know the strength of the stimulus. So how will the brain know what is the type of stimulus? from the receptor, from where the stimulus is coming. So for example, I use stimulus coming from the eye, I use sensory neuron coming from the eye, anything coming from the eye, the brain is going to interpret it as a light stimulus. So even if there's a different stimulus that stimulates the rods and the cones, for example, your eyes are closed and you're pressing against them, the brain will again interpret it as light. That's why if you're closing your eyes and you start to press against your eyes, you will see like uh, light inside because the brain interprets anything coming from the eyes as light because the eyes have light receptors, that's it. So the brain is going to translate the action potential to know the type of the stimulus according to the position of the sensory neuron coming from where and the strength of the stimulus from the frequency of action potential and the number of stimulated neurons. And if I put the rules of the synapse, put the synapse will filter out 
low level stimuli. I was saying that a lot of information is reaching the synapse at the same time. So many neurons are coming with different information to the synapse. So only those that can make a depolarization in the postsynaptic neuron which reaches threshold will be able to generate an action potential in the postsynaptic neuron. And so they will be transmitted. Not all the information will be transmitted. You understand? This is what the all or the nothing. And a monkey is stimulus. Yeah, the monkey is stimulus and the receptor. You have a generation of action potential. We find the action potential moving in this neuron. But once this reaches the synapse and it starts to be transmitted to the postsynaptic neuron, not enough acetylcholine will be released from the presynaptic neuron, so not enough sodium channels will open, chemical gated sodium channels will open. Fal influx without the sodium ions will hit the depolarization, which will also be the threshold. action potential for the synaptic neuron. يعني أنا ممكن يبقى عندي action potential في السنسوري ال stimulus عملي action potential في السنسوري لكن when it reached the presynaptic knob the depolarization اللي حصلت عند الممبرين بتاع the presynaptic knob ما فتحش كالسيم شانس كفاية الكالسيم اللي دخل presynaptic knob خلى عدد قليل من الفازيكلز هي اللي تطلع اسيتايكولين باي اكسوسايتوزيس يعني كمية الاسيتايكولين اللي طلعت في الكلاب قليلة فكمية الكيميكال جيتد بروتين شانلز اللي هتفتح ديو تو ذيس اسيتايكولين هتبقى برضه قليلة فكمية الصوديوم اللي بتخش مش هتعمل دي بولاريزيشن توصل للنيجاتيف 50 يبقى البوست سينابتيك نيورين دي مش هتبقى اكتيفيت مش هتبقى ستيميليتد مش هيحصل فيها اكشن بوتنشال That this is the idea of the all or nothing. This is the idea of filtering out low level stimuli. So only the stimulus which was strong enough to have a high frequency of action potential, which will release a high amount of acetylcholine, will be able to generate an action potential in the postsynaptic neuron. Okay? okay? Will be able to generate an action potential in the postsynaptic neuron. The idea of that filtering out low level stimuli. فمش أي stimulus إحنا هنحس به أو مش أي stimulus هيحصل لنا. We will respond to it. We might respond to something and something. لا. مش أنا كاني مش أنا. هذا. هاي دي مثلاً. مش فاهم الفريكونسي دي معناها إيه؟ كوين. لا. عدد the action potentials. ورا بعض. لا مش كم مرة strength strength يعني أنا أنا ممكن أعمل pressure كده ممكن أعمل pressure كده ممكن أعمل pressure كده ال action potentials اللي بتتعمل هي ال action potential بتطلع وتنزل إحنا مقدرين على الحصة اللي فاتت أنت معلومة الاستيميل strength of the stimulus time 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 لا لا أنا هنا ال y axis عليها ال electric potential difference across the membrane. فأنا ال electric potential difference across the membrane is the resting potential اللي هي negative 65 millivolts. So that's the resting potential. When I have a stimulus, the stimulus is applied here at this time. The depolarization, the influx, or the leakage of the sodium ions inside. هتبدأ تعلي ال electric potential difference دي تبقى less negative. This is depolarization of the membrane. So if this depolarization reaches the negative 50 millivolts, which is the threshold, voltage gated sodium channels will open and more sodium ions will influx in till it reaches the positive 30 millivolts, which we say an action potential is generated. Once it reaches positive 30, voltage-gated sodium channels close, and the voltage-gated potassium channels open. So potassium ion starts to leak out, and this will result in 
repolarization of the membrane till it returns back to negative 65 and lower in here, negative 70. Side half, when it's negative 70, voltage gated calcium channel, potassium channel is closed. And the sodium potassium pump will start to restore the resting potential. That's the shape of an action potential. Depolarization, repolarization. That's why when we draw an action potential, we draw it like this, depolarized, repolarized. Okay? So if your stimulus is too strong and a lot of sodium ions leaked in, still the size of an action potential will be only 30. But more action potentials can be generated. Not only one, not only two. على حسب ال ال الليكج بتاع الصوديوم عنس في الأول. أيوة. شو كذا اللي بيجنريت الأشعة؟ نعم. كذا كذا كاتب بيجنريت الأشعة بيصلي. لا بغض النظر أنا طالما في action potential generated there will be transmission of this action potential it will reach the synapse. وصل إلى synapse. ممكن تعمل لك action potential في الأول synapse ممكن لا. Okay, Karim. you will not make a response. لو فيها pain, you can feel the pain. بس حتى لكن you will not make a response to this. Okay, يعني هي بالضبط يعني لو ما عدتش الموتور يورين يعني you're not responding to this. هيحصل طالما عدت النيجاتيف 50 طالما وصلت النيجاتيف 50 او اكثر من نيجاتيف 50 there is action potential يعني عند النيجاتيف 50 few action potentials نيجاتيف 40 الفريكونسي اكثر عند ال 10 بوزيتيف 10 الفريكونسي اكثر علشان عند البوزيتيف 30 the voltage gate the sodium channels will close خلاص but this is the size of the action potential. واحدة تانية تتعامل. بس هاي دي. ازاي تروح سوليم زائد من زيرو يعني زائد من نيجاتيف. علشان the resting potential is negative 65. لأن أنت when the neuron حاضر أنا شايفة أنت عايز. When the neuron when the neuron is not stimulated, you still have accumulation of positive charges outside the membrane. Due to the action of the sodium potassium pump, positive barra, less positive goa. But here, so less positive goa, we are going to call it the value of negative 65. Hatta if we are going to write it, we call negative 65 millivolts inside. That means it's less positive than the outside by 65 millivolts. Negative, so less positive. So less positive than the outside. Yes. 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 The voltage gated sodium channels and the voltage gated potassium channels will not close or open except at this value. 50? Yes. Negative 50 millivolts, voltage gated sodium channels open. Positive 30 millivolts, voltage gated sodium channels close, and voltage gated potassium channels open. Well, the the خلاص, this area is resting. action potential This is transmission of action potential. I'm telling you, Shalini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. في فرق ما بين إن الستيميلوس وصل للبرين، that the brain knows that there is something that happened. But that once in an action potential reach the synapse, you know, the brain. Okay? And there is a difference that you are going to make a response. 
you are going to make a response يعني لازم الاكشن بتاعكم توصل للايفيكتور يعني لازم تمشي في الموتور نيورون فهي الايديا اللي انا كنت بتكلم عليها في الرول اوف ساينابس ان انت ممكن الاكشن بوتنشال اللي وصلت عند الساينابس ما تبقاش انف علشان تعمل اكشن بوتنشال في البول ساينابتيك نيورون In this case, this stimulus is blocked. You will not respond to him. The brain knows that it happens. Why? Because it's called stimulus. It has to be brain. No, but the brain knows. The brain knows. Yeah, you know. But you're not responding. Because if the stimulus then you was all, which is stronger, and it made an action potential in the motor neurons, so this is what you're going to respond to. يعني مثلا هقول لك حاجه فور اكزامبل حاجه دراماتيك مثلا عشان تتخيل انت دلوقتي ماسك حاجه سخنه حاجه سخنه كده بتتحرك وفي نفس الوقت انت شايف مثلا حرامي او حد ماسك لك مسدس او وات ايفر فانت الاثنين ستيمولاي دول الاكشن بوتنشنز بتاعتهم وصل سينابس عند البرين You will not respond to this. You will not pull your hand. Like in the deep end, this veil is higher than the fear that you feel when you are in the middle of the process. You will be responding to this. You will not be responding to this. No, you will not feel it. You will not feel it because it is blocked. You will not feel it. 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 يعني انت ممكن يبقى في حاجات كتيره بتحصل حواليك بس من كتر ما انت خايف من سيتويشن معينه او من كتر ما في حاجه معينه انت الحاجات دي بس هو ايه في النهايه البلوك اذا كان هي معدي النيجاتيف 50 بقى مش هيسخنوا معانا معدي لا هي عدت في النيجاتيف 50 وعملت اكشن بوتنشال وصلت لاخر البوست ساينابتيك وصلت لاخر البري ساينابتيك نيورن وصلت عند الساينابس ما عدتش في حاجه اقوى منها في حاجه اقوى منها فالساينابس بيبلوك دي ازاي؟ بكميه الاسيتايكولين اللي بتطلع آه. فكميه الاسيتايكولين اللي طالعه من اليورين ديت اقل بكتير من كميه الاسيتايكولين اللي طالعه من اليورين ديت آه. فده اللي هيعدي هو ده اللي انت هتسمون له اولا في الرول اوف الساينابس يو جاست نيد تو نو البرود لاينز اللي مكتوبه بالبولد اللي انا بقوله ده ده شرح انا بقوله عشان انتوا تفهموه You don't need to write it in your answers. يعني أنت لما هتيجي في الحتة بتاعت ال filtering out of low level stimuli, and you just write that filtering out of low level stimuli. بس أنا بشرح ده عشان أنتوا تفهموا يعني إيه filtering out of low level stimuli. Okay? It's إيه? Yes, synapse will be filtered. But the حتة بتاعت ال memory and learning by formation of new synapses and formation of new neural pathways. لكن you don't have to write in your answer in the voice will will vision can you mama this is just for you to understand that معناه ايه okay again the the synapse allow us to make a wide range of actions at the same time because neurons the endings of the neurons have many dendrites many terminal branches and many dendrites. So this gives a very large surface area, allowing transmission to more neurons on the postsynaptic. And this allows us to have a wide range of actions. So you can do several things at the same time. A lot of branches, a lot of dendrites in the endings and the beginning of the neurons. It gives a large surface area.